Namaste, divine being. So wonderful to be with you. I am dropping in to share a little transmission about the importance of cultivating our groundedness within this physical realm. Now, I'm sharing this because this is this is it on planet Earth. Right now, we are at this pinnacle frontier. The time that we have been praying for for millennia, thousands and thousands of years. So many of us have been incarnating and coming back over and over again to support humanity to get to this point. And we are all waking up, for want of a better word, switching on, en masse at the moment, in comparison to how it's been, kind of a bit more dribs and drabs over the last few thousand years. And so much of this um, expedited or catalyzed uh, awakening or ascension process is being supported by nature. I mean, it all is being supported by nature. It, in fact, is nature. This very existence of ours that we have manifested, the consciousness of source itself has manifested this nature, this physical reality. Okay, and this is just one of many realities that exist within consciousness. And I'm seeing a lot of people at the moment um, really curious, really getting curious about their physical body and their emotional uh, plane, their emotions, the parts of their mind, the parts of their body. I'm also seeing a lot of people getting very interested in spirituality and spiritual teachings and astrology. And then there's more. It's, you know, so I'm seeing people getting interested in you know, the, the other dimensional um, playgrounds that there are out there. And all of this is here as part of this experience to help us to explore consciousness, to help us to experience our physical body, to experience nature. And it's so beautiful and so important to honor this because we manifested this and it continues to all manifest through our collective consciousness. It's our actual consciousness, the thoughts that we're thinking, the prayers that we're creating, the intentions that we're creating, that's actually manifesting this all the time, okay? So we are it. We are at the center of that manifestation we are at the center of nature because nature in itself is the manifestation and everything everything within this physical realm in itself is nature okay we cannot separate ourselves from nature we are nature now actually the the point of giving you that back story is because i really want to share how important it is to really ground into this physical experience to really ground into the here and now into this body and into the teachings and the technologies of this physical realm including our solar system including our galaxy including nature and the nature beings and the plants and the animals and the waters and 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 all of that because we came here we chose to incarnate as a physical being First and foremost, we have a, a body, and this body is our vessel, it's our home, it's what carries us through these lifetimes, it gives us the ability to experience this. And it's really important to honor this body, knowing that this body is going to actually help us experience more. So the more that we cultivate the energy of the body, we cultivate the health of the body, we cultivate the wellness of the body, the more that it opens up the technologies open up and allow us to experience more in all other realms and all multi-dimensions it's the same with the emotional state the more we work on the emotions we work on our parts we work on our psyche we work on our nervous system the more the nervous system relaxes and opens up and allows more self to be present 
So we're more present within our bodies, with other people, with nature, and we're able to absorb more, we're able to interact more, experience more. And this interface that happens of mind, body, spirit, when when all of that is online together, we recognize that I am spirit, I am soul. I recognize I have this incredible technology of a body and I recognize I have parts, you know, I have, I hold emotion and, and you know, that is very much um, an experience that is a, a multidimensional experience within me, my emotional plane and all of my parts and the trauma and the wounds that I hold. When we start to recognize that and all of that interfaces, it's like our technology, our whole sort of soul template, our body um, emotional soul template switches on to a completely different level and we function at a completely different level. We start to be able to receive more information, we become more telepathic, we become more clairsentient, clairnostic, we just know things, we just feel things, we can communicate, it's just all of those extrasensory perceptions switch on and we're able to draw in actually more wisdom and knowledge from nature. And this includes the planets and star systems. Now, my concern is that this understanding that the anchoring and the grounding in is not just about like getting to grips with what we've got going on here, but it's also about creating a radical stability within oneself. Because you see, we have the parts of our minds and our body that are kind of trying to catch up with with soul you know we've got to take the parts of our mind on a journey with us and if we don't do that then these parts can often feel fragmented they can feel confused and i do see i do see um some very um worrying situations some very sad situations where people have literally um their minds have just become very fragmented and very confused to the point where the system has to break down and a whole lot of protectors come in and then there's so much fear there there's so much protection and fear there because we didn't take our parts on that journey with us so we've got to really anchor in to this physical body create radical stability because that stability allows for more self energy to be present that self energy allows our parts our system to trust us more to be the driver of this vessel and then we can start to drive ourselves off into the universe and start to work more with um the, the planets or the nature beings or the plant spirits or the animal spirits and then our parts are coming with us on this journey they trust us more and we can have that dialogue and it's not just about anchoring to create the stability you know within that when we really start to work on the lower triangle the lower chakras we work on the muladhara uh, we work on the Swadhisthana and the Manipura, which is the root, the sacral, and the solar plexus. This is the lower triangle. They, these are the chakras that hold the densest energy, okay? So at the base of the spine, the Muladhara, we hold our fears, you know, our fundamental fears and our sense of lack and our disconnection with our purpose and why we're here and our place in the world and who we are, okay? At the Swadhisthana, the sacral, we tend to hold more of our trauma and our ancestral trauma, our wounding, a lot of our ancestral programming sits there. And at our solar plexus, we tend to store more of the day-to-day -day dense energy, the worries, the fears, the stress, the anxiety, the stuff that's coming up day-to-day. -day. And we really need to work on this a lot because when we clear the solar plexus and, and we really empower it, actually that's, that, that, that is our willpower, the seat of our willpower. And that's what we're really fueling. And then that energy really moves up stronger. So the idea is that we clear the lower chakras so that energy, the Kundalini Shakti can rise up and activate the heart, the throat, the third eye and the crown. So this is the self, the DIY method of activations, okay, of activating. And it's important to really get to grips with working ourselves on our own bodies to activate ourselves and to learn how to work with our energy system and not rely on outside influences of other people, um, of other people's initiations or activations to come in and to do that job for us before we've done it ourselves. 
okay? So we clear the lower chakras and then we, the energy is starting to rise up more, then we can activate the upper chakras because otherwise it's like a pipe that's blocked. If you just force a whole load of energy down it or water down it, it's blocked at the bottom, it's going to just explode out the bottom and that's essentially what's going to happen to us. We need to gently clear out the bottom of the pipe Okay, and then we can let the water flow through and it flows through and up and the water goes to where it needs to go. That's exactly what we need to do. So really spending time to anchor into this body, anchor into this physical experience, anchor into nature, become aware of nature, work with nature, making offerings to nature and really communing with nature at such a fundamental level. Every day I do a ritual to commune with nature every single day without fail. I make offerings to the divine. I make offerings to nature. I make offerings to my guides and to my ancestors. You know, every day I give my thanks to the cardinal directions that hold this physical reality to the ancestors. Every day I work with the planets that are I have a relationship with or that I feel that I want to cultivate more of an energy with because they are within our solar system, within our immediate home, our immediate realm. And it's so important to get to grips with this first before we move beyond that and start to experience the magic of the rest of the, the rest of the galaxy and the rest of the universe. Let's start here. Let's start by creating the communion here, the communication here with the beings on this planet with nature from this planet, with the planets in this solar system, you know, and really come into a deep reverence and respect for that and then move beyond. Hmm. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's been really wonderful to connect with you. I'm sending you so much love, my beauties. I'm so, 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 um, so blessed to be sharing. Uh, this wisdom, along with other integrated, multi, um, multi uh, dimensional integrated wisdom and practices through my sacred ceremonial space holding course, of which I literally have a couple of places left. Um, everybody gets a reading, everybody gets to understand their soul blueprint, and then from there, understand how to lean into their higher potential. And so the rest of the course is then designed around you fulfilling that potential, you know, really understanding your home here in the solar system, in this body, in this mind. It's very much what it's about. Okay, my darlings, I'm sending you so much love. Namaste.